Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my 9pan19 project pan. We're actually at the halfway point, which is kind of uh, freaking me out. <laughs> but I think I've actually made a lot of good progress in the contour palette, and uh, I'm not feeling as discouraged about the blushes, but uh, we'll talk about that just a little bit into the video. So if you haven't caught any of the updates or you just want to refresh until this update, I'll throw the whole playlist for my 9pan19 19 19 up in the cards. So let's start with something I've made progress in, not as much as I thought I would, because I kind of really wanted to finish up another color or shade in here before this update, and I didn't quite do that. So this is my palette now. As you can see, we've got the two completely finished light shades up here. I've hit pan and expanded the pan in this yellow shade right here. And this is the contour or bronzer shade that I repressed and I thought I would actually finish before this update. But I'm just shocked by how much product and how far this product goes. Because as you can see, I still have a decent amount in here. Though I have hit pan once again on the repressed portion. So I think I'm going to have... I don't know if this will be gone by the next update. I'm actually shocked by how far this product is going. Um, and as you can see, this is the other shade that I'm using right now. This is my contour shade, and I still haven't hit pan on that. So like I said, I'm shocked by how far this bronzer shade is going, which A, I should be happy with because I'm getting oh, so much run for my money right now. Like this palette has lasted me six months of almost daily contour and bronzing use. So, okay, that's awesome. But in the mindset of trying to use this up, whoa. <laughs> so I did repress this and I did hit pan again after I repressed it. I really want to use this up before the next update, but I don't know if that's a realistic goal. These go pretty far. So what I think I'm going to start doing is mixing this in with this shade because this is the shade that I figured would last me as a bronzer for the next six months because I kind of thought like with these three shades this would be my contour the whole year this would be my bronzer for the first six months and then this would be my bronzer for the next six months and I didn't think I would still have this left <laughs> so I'm gonna start like swirling my brush here and then swirling my brush here just to kind of mix them together and hopefully finish that up but also start working on this one because I need to start working on this shade if it's gonna last this long even as an almost daily bronzer, I need to start working on it now, otherwise it's not going to be done by December. It's just not. I do have a huge dip in my contour shade, but as I'm just using it as a contour daily, and I'm really just using the middle section of it, I'm a bit worried about this now. I've been using this as a contour almost daily for six months, and uh, there's no pan. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see pan soon, but it just really made me think about how I really probably should a start bringing this shade more and mixing in with this one now which I'm going to do but b really start thinking about how else I can multitask this dark brown shade I probably should start using it more as eyeshadow uh it's too light to use in my brows or in my hair so I am I am struggling a bit trying to think of other ways to use this maybe I could try using a really light hand and also use it as a bronzer but I don't know how that's going to work when I'm also trying to finish up these two bronzers. But that's where I'm at right now. Not a horrible place to be at at the halfway point, but I'm just thinking of the next six months and uh, we're halfway there. <laughs> Next we have my blushes and pretty much the same, there really isn't a whole lot of progress to show here. I am wearing the blush today, I've decided to focus on this one pan, this really light peachy shade just to see if there's any way I could hit pan on at least one shade. And I'm still not there, there is a crazy amount of product here and it takes a lot to do blush. I, I've been talking about doing a full face of blush, which I've done a couple of times, but I haven't filmed it yet. The issue with that is that I need to find a day I can film it where I don't have to go to work and where we're not going out or when I don't have any family events. And for the past month and a half, <laughs> I've actually been either doing something for my family. I had a wedding I went to. I actually, I really like the dress that I wore. Here's the dress. Surprise, I was not wearing black. Really cute. But I couldn't do a full face of blush there. 
I had events for my boyfriend's family that we went to. Like, the past month and a half has been nuts. And, like, today I have to get ready to go to my uncle's birthday party. Because that's also happening today. So I couldn't do an avant-garde, like, makeup look. So I really need to bulk out or... Uh, section out more time that I can do kind of off the wall makeup looks because really I'm kind of tied to uh, what I can wear either to work or to a family event or to my boyfriend's family event so <laughs> I can't really do like the like the Dorian Electra look that I really want to do a video on I've actually found I've been following them on Instagram and I saw so many more looks that are just inspiring and I really want to do a whole Dorian Electra inspired video and I wanted to focus on the blush because Dorian really focuses on blush and it looks gorgeous and I think if I did a couple of those looks it would really help me use up some of my blushes and I think it would look really cool. So I do want to do that. I'm going to get to it eventually. I know it's just the beginning of the summer and the weather is getting nice so a whole bunch of events are happening but it will eventually calm down i do have um summer hours at work so i have half days on fridays and i work from home on fridays so i will have a little bit more time to actually film those kinds of videos and i'm very excited for that i'm excited for a little bit more of a calm down period because work has been kind of nuts home and family has been kind of nuts i just uh, can't wait for it to all calm down <laughs> and when that does happen I really do want to de like dig into these a lot more and do more off the wall looks with just my blushes so those videos will come the issue is just that it's hard for me to find a time to film when I can actually wear that makeup you know <laughs> so thank you guys so much for listening to this update that was really half of a rant <laughs> <laughs> um, let me know down below if you're doing a year-long project pan and how that's coming along because this is officially the halfway point halfway there halfway in your pan that palettes halfway in any year-long project pans who be still my heart thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video bye